Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Egimayo and today I want to tell you about my research paper. Here I am going to tell you about the symbol in UK or United Kingdom that divided into four nations that is England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. And before we go there, uh, there are many symbols in UK. But in our country, Indonesia, we have only two. That is our national flag, the red, black, red and white flag, and our coat of arm is the Garuda. But in UK, there are many symbols to represent their country, and every country has differences. It also make the United Kingdom has many symbols and different flag to describe their own countries. Through the symbols. Other country can understand what this country stand for, and I try to make a comparison of how these symbol are made and what the meaning behind it. Okay, first we have England. There are three national symbols. There is Saint George Cross as their flag, and the three lion emblem, and the Tudor Rose. First symbol is the Three lion symbol, trace symbol as uh, England royal coat of arm, use the three golden lion on their scarlet background as powerful symbol of the English throne during the time of Crusades, and the lion as a symbol of their courage and strength. The three lion symbol, it the royal arm of England to symbolize England and its monarchs, used to used three identical lions on the red background and was first used by Richard I or Richard the Lionheart. England national flag is the St. George Cross. In 1194, Richard I of England introduced the cross of St. George, a red cross with white ground as the national flag of England. And it has represented England in various form from as far back as the Middle Ages and the Crusades of St. George, after whom the cross is named, was the patron saint of the country during the 1200s. The cross was used to represent the martyr saint in his religious capacities and his emblem during his years of battle of the Red Cross on the white background eventually become the symbol of the crusaders irrespective on their nationality and the last is the Tudoros emblem and the national is the national England Frolar emblem and was a symbol of peace and unity in the period of following of England long civil war the Tudoros as the national flower take its name and origin from the Tudor dynasty to dukes of the right of the crown. The rose was created to symbolize the marriage between Henry VII, the House of Lancaster, and Elizabeth in the House of York at the end of the War of the Rose. The second country we have Scotland represented with St. Andrew Cross as their flag, the diesel emblem, and the rampant lion. St. Andrew Cross as the national flag. The history of St. Andrew was first hoisted in 1512 and also known as the Saltire. The Saltire is a flag with a diagonal cross whose arm extends the corner of the flag. St. Andrew represented by a diagonal white cross on a blue field. Symbols stand for to represent St. Andrew who is supposed to have been crucified on a cross of that form, also called a crux de cusata, at Patras, Greece, and has been the Scottish national symbol. And then the national flower of Scotland is the teasel. The teasel was adopted as the emblem of Scotland during the reigns of Alexander III. Legend has it that an army of King Hakon of Norway intend to conquering the Scots. 
land on the coast of Lars at night to surprise the sleeping Scottish classmen. The Scots were sleeping, didn't expect the enemy, but one of the Norsemen stepped on the thistle, so the Scot hear this uh, as alarm and strike back the Norsemen with and win the battle. The thistle it represents bravery, uh, courage, loyalty in the face of treachery. Rampant added when King Richard the first of England or the lion King Richard the lion heart late in the 12th century who first introduced a heraldic device showing a rampant lion the king of beasts rearing up with the three of his claw paws stretched as if in battle the lion rampant was eventually adopted as the Scottish royal coast of arm and incorporated into the great seal of Scotland and stand to represent emblem of majesty strength justice military might and deathless courage all right the third country is wales and it has symbol like saint david cross the red dragon flag and the daffodil but in here we only uh, uh, talk about the dragon flag that was officially adopted in 1959 and the green and white background behind the dragon represent the house of Tudor. Recall when Romano British soldiers carrying the dread dragon Draco to Rome on their banners in the 4th century. The second symbol is daffodil as their national flower of Wales, traditionally worn on Saint David Day. The history of how daffodil became one of their national symbol is when the Battle of Hatfields. When Saint David persuaded his country to dis distinguish themselves from their enemy with its sanction by wearing a leak in their caps. In Welsh, daffodil is type of leak, and Welsh name translated as a type of leak. Then, the national flower of Wales, the daffodil, also known as Peter Leak, and is symbolizing rebirth and new beginning. And the last country is Northern Ireland, represented with the Patrick Cross as their flag, and the Golden Harp, and the Shamrock. In Ireland, that still part of UK is only the Northern Ireland, because Ireland has separated from UK since 1922. Now, Ireland used three color symbol as their national flag. St. Patrick Cross used to represent the island of Ireland, and the Northern Ireland flag had the Ulster, Ulster banner or the red hand flag used to represent Ulster, one of the four provinces of Ireland. Northern Ireland does not have used St. Patrick Cross as their national flag anymore, but instead use the Union Jack flag for a format of even of, for a formal event and the flag of Ulster or the flag of Northern Ireland as their unofficial flag and still used by the Northern Ireland International Football Team and Commonwealth Games Team. The Irish Golf Harp or the David Harp become one of their national symbol because it's the in the Crusade era, harp being the only music played during the Crusades. It can be seen as a symbol of worship in heaven or hope. Henry VII declared himself King of Ireland in 1531, such was the fame and prestige of the country harp, it was chosen as the official national symbol of Ireland. And the emblem of the Northern Ireland symbol is the shamrock. And the emblem of Northern Ireland symbol is the shamrock. How it became the symbol of Northern Ireland because over 100 years ago, Queen Victoria decided the soldier of Ireland should wear a sprig of shamrock to recognition the Irish soldiers who had fought bravely in the Boer War. The national flower symbol of Ireland is the shamrock, and it stands for the Holy Trinity, its leaf represent, representing the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The three leaves of a shamrock are also said to stand for faith, hope, and love. The fourth leaf 
where we get the luck from UK symbol or British symbol is the Union Jack was officially adopted in 1801 the flag of UK is the combination of the flag of England the cross of St. George Scotland the cross of St. Andrew Ireland the cross of St. Patrick and as Wales was not the kingdom but principality is could be not it could not be included on the flag Wales didn't appear in the Union Jack symbol because when the Union Jack was made Wales, Wales united with England and not a kingdom and here's a picture if Wales uh, did include in the flag so UK nation flag when first introduced in 1906 in or I mean 1606 the Union Jack was known simply as the British flag or the flag of Britain and was ordered to flown from the main masthead of all English and Scottish ship, warship and merchant ship the name Union first appears in 1625 and the Jack was certainly used to describe a small, small flag flown from the mass mount at the end of the bowsprit by the 1627 a small version of the Union flag later described as the Jack Jack flag or King Jack seemed to have flown commonly in this position by 1674 this flag described formally as His Majesty Jack and in common usage officially acknowledged as the Union Jack and the Union flag also known the Union Jack it's so called because combine the cross of the three countries unite under the one sovereign the United Kingdom of England and Wales of Scotland and Ireland represented it and UK coats of arm the royal arm include the coats of the United Kingdom while adding adding many elements including crown lion on the left side and a unicorn on the right side to represent Scotland it said that free unicorn was very dangerous beast so it changed in both England and Scottish version of the royal arm the field in the English, Irish and Welsh royal arm included the Tudor rose, a shamrock and teasel to represent all the three nations Okay, that's all for my research. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you can comment in the section below. My name is Kevin Egimayo. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.